There are some behaviors dogs do that look innocent, like staring at you, wagging their tails, or smiling, but may actually be warning signs. You'll see what these behaviors really mean, but here's the creepiest one first. Some dogs stare at walls. The best case scenario here, and probably the most common reason, is that they're just tired or daydreaming. But it could also be a compulsive behavior they feel the need to do, like how dogs randomly spin in circles. Or you could have an infestation of rats or bugs in your wall. Dogs can hear sounds four times farther away than we can, so they could hear something scurrying in there that we don't. The worst case scenario is that it's a health issue. Cognitive dysfunction syndrome, which is kind of like Alzheimer's in humans, and focal seizures are both health problems where one symptom could be blank staring. Then there's always the possibility that you have a ghost in your house and your dog is trying to communicate with them. Now a dog staring at you is another potentially scary warning sign. But first, let's talk about the behavior that might be the most confusing one of them all, wagging their tails. Most people think dogs wag their tails because they're happy, but that's not always true. They could also be wagging their tails because they're feeling nervous, curious, or even aggressive. Here's a helpful image from PetMD about interpreting a dog's tail wags. If they're nervous, their tail is usually low and may be tucked in between their legs and wagging slowly. If they're curious, their tail may be straight out and wagging slightly. And if they're feeling aggressive, it's often up over their back and may be wagging stiffly. The weirdest thing about dogs wagging their tails though, is that scientists have found the direction dogs wag their tails might also be an indicator of their mood. One study showed that dogs wagging their tails more to the right might be in a friendlier mood, while dogs wagging their tails more to the left might be more anxious. Now this next behavior can be very normal or a sign that something's wrong, and that is licking their paws. Yes, dogs do groom themselves, and licking their paws is part of that process, but they could do it for another reason. If they suddenly start licking one paw, it could be a sign of injury or something is stuck between their paw pads, like a splinter or a pebble. If they're licking their paws as if they're itchy, then it could be allergies, skin problems, or parasites. Then again, it just might be that they're bored, anxious, or it's a compulsive behavior. If your dog is licking their paws a lot, then it's probably a good idea to check with your vet. But this next warning sign is even more innocent looking than paw licking, and that is panting. There are many reasons dogs pant. The most harmless reasons, and thankfully the most common ones, are that they're hot or excited. But it could be a sign of something else. If they're in an uncomfortable environment, like the vet's office or there are fireworks going off, then it's likely that they're panting because they're scared. But if they're not hot, they're not excited, and they're not anxious, then you might want to do some digging to see what could be wrong, because it could mean that they're sick or in pain. Next up is the weirdest behavior in this video, but first, if you want your dog to be the happiest, healthiest dog they can be, subscribe to Doggy Digs so you never miss out on any of our future videos. Now one of the strangest behaviors dogs do is scooting their butts on the floor. It's goofy and embarrassing, but is actually a sign of their butt itches, which could be a big problem. They can't scratch it, so they have no choice but to drag it on the floor. Dogs have two anal glands on each side of their butthole that sometimes can become blocked and full of fluid. When this happens, it's very uncomfortable for them, and that's usually when you see them rubbing their butts on the floor. Talk to your vet if you see them doing this, because it could lead to an infection if they don't get this problem fixed. Plus, there's a chance it's some other booty issue that you'll want your vet to take a look at. Next, we've got a behavior that may or may not be a deadly warning sign. A dog showing aggressive behavior may not actually be feeling aggressive. You might come across a dog that's barking at you and think, wow, this is a scary, aggressive dog. But it's possible that they're more scared of you than you are of them, and what looks like aggression to you is actually fear. Dogs might also bark and appear aggressive because they're in pain, and that's the only way they know how to express it. But either way, a scared dog or an injured dog can still bite, so definitely be careful if a dog is barking at you. But this next innocent looking behavior is kind of like the total opposite of barking, yawning. Yes, dogs may yawn because they're tired, but if it's not bedtime and your dog is yawning, it could be a sign that they're scared. I know it doesn't make sense at first, but an out of place behavior like this is common among all animals, and it's called a displacement behavior. They usually do displacement behaviors when they're scared or uncomfortable because they're just not really sure what else to do. Here's an example of a displacement behavior that's even more confusing. Sniffing. Everybody knows dogs love to sniff but sometimes it can actually be a warning sign. If you're walking outside and they're sniffing the ground, yeah, they're probably on a good scent and they're happily checking it out. But if they're in an uncomfortable situation, 
sniffing the ground distractedly can be a sign that they're scared or anxious. It's a pretty random way for a dog to show that they're scared, but this next innocent looking warning sign actually makes a lot of sense once you realize why they're doing it. And that is dogs shaking their heads. Dogs often do this because they have an itch or they've got something on their head or in their ear. But if you see a dog constantly shaking their head, it could be a sign that they have an ear infection. According to PetMD, if your dog is shaking their head repeatedly and doesn't stop after a day or so, then it's time to make an appointment with your vet. This next behavior is the funniest one in this video, but could still be a warning sign. It's the classic goofy puppy behavior of chasing their own tail. Puppies often do this because they're playing. They're wondering what this furry thing that follows them all day long is, so they go try to catch it. But it could be more than just playing. They could be bored and have too much pent up energy, or maybe they're not getting enough attention. It could also be a sign that their tail is injured or they have some sort of infection back there. In their effort to scratch or lick it, they're chasing it and unintentionally making you laugh. This next innocent looking behavior is potentially even more confusing, licking their lips. Of course, dogs might lick their lips because they're excited about food, and licking their nose, which also looks like them licking their lips, helps improve their sense of smell. But when researchers do studies about dog behavior, they often look to see if dogs are licking their lips. Why do they do this? Because lip licking is a common sign that a dog is nervous or scared. But next up is a classic innocent dog behavior that could actually mean something is wrong. Scratching. We all get itchy sometimes, and our dogs do too. So there's nothing wrong with the occasional itching a scratch or scratching an itch. But when dogs do it too much, it could be a sign that something is wrong or even cause something to be wrong. It might be a sign of fleas, allergies, pain, or just boredom. The unfortunate thing here is that dogs aren't the most delicate scratchers and they can cut themselves accidentally. These cuts can sometimes get infected and be itchy and start the scratching cycle all over again. So if you notice your dog excessively scratching, you probably want to give your vet a call. And this next behavior is strange because it could mean two totally opposite things. Shaking. Dogs might shake because they're excited and they can't contain themselves, or because they're terrified. It could also be because they're in pain, they're sick, or they're cold. With all of the behaviors in this video, it's important to look at the whole picture to get a more accurate idea of what's going on with your dog. If they're shaking because they're excited, you'll probably also notice a loose, wiggly body and a loose mouth. If they're shaking because they're scared, you might see their ears pinned back, their tail tucked between their legs, or they're cowering. Now here's an incredibly confusing behavior many dogs do. Smile. The problem is that what sometimes look like a smile to us might not actually be a smile at all. For instance, when some dogs pant, it looks like they're smiling because their mouth is half open and curled up at the corners. But they might actually be panting because they're anxious. If they're looking playful or content, then it may be a genuine smile. But if they're looking anxious or breathing faster than normal, then what appears to be a smile might actually be a grimace and you may want to do a little bit more investigating to see what's going on. We've got a potentially sweet or a potentially dangerous behavior coming up, but first, here's the most innocent one. Sleeping. Dogs sleep about 12 hours a day, a little more if they're puppies or senior dogs. Now a warning sign with your dog's sleep is if you start to notice a change in their sleeping patterns. For instance, if they used to take a three hour nap in the morning, but now they're taking a six hour nap in the morning, then it might be time to call your vet or start keeping a closer eye on how they're doing. According to PetMD, diabetes, kidney disease, heart disease, and arthritis are all issues that could cause your dog to sleep more than usual. But this next thing is kind of the opposite issue. If a dog has a tummy problem, poops everywhere, and makes a huge mess, yeah, it's pretty hard not to notice, and it's obvious that something's wrong. But the flip side of that, not pooping could be just as much of a problem, but a lot less noticeable. It could be a sign of something as simple as being a little stopped up that will soon pass. Or it could be that they've swallowed a toy or a rock and now it's stuck in their tummy and could turn into a major problem soon. The only way to know for sure is to talk with your vet, so always keep a little mental note of how frequently they're going and if anything changes. This warning sign may be hard to notice if you're not paying close attention, but the next warning sign is staring you in the face. Literally. When a dog stares at you, it could be either wonderful or deadly. According to one study, the more a dog stares at their owner, the more oxytocin, aka the love hormone, is released. But just because a dog stares at you doesn't mean they love you. In the canine world, staring another dog in the eyes is often a threatening behavior. 
If an unfamiliar dog is staring you down, then you might want to give them their space, especially if you see some of the other threatening behaviors mentioned in this video. On the flip side, they might be staring because they're trying to tell us something or see if we're trying to tell them something, which is much cuter than the fact that they could be trying to threaten us. Now, along with staring at you, dogs might also go and sniff your butt. And you can see the weird reason why they do that in this next video.